All right, y'all. Coming up Saturday, we got the next race on the road to the Kentucky Derby. The Share Belief Stakes, uh, 100 grand out there at uh, Del Mar, mile and 116th on dirt. So, um, first off, we got a couple scratches. Uh, Uncle Chuck, who a uh, horse I really like, he probably may have been favorite, second favorite in this one. Um, out of Uncle Mo, he's going to be scratched. Uh, Baffert said he's going to take him out to the Traverse. So we'll see him next week out at uh, in uh, Saratoga. Um, Next, um, Anador, uh, um, horse out of Medallia Doro, a decent breeding in this horse, but he's probably going to be scratched as well, they're saying. I'm going to point him somewhere else. Uh, so that leaves us with four horses here. Uh, uh, small field, but still an interesting race. Uh, number two, we got Thousand Words. All right, this horse is out of Pioneer of the Nile, a brother of American Pharaoh. Um, Abel Cedillo's riding him this time. Uh, Hasn't had much luck recently. Um, fourth in the San Felipe, uh, 11th way off, 29 lengths off uh, in the Oklahoma Stakes. He ran the Los Alamitos Derby, um, finished uh, second behind Uncle Chuck in that one. Uh, so he, he did take an uptick in that last one, but we'll see what he's got here. Abel Cedillo is riding him, trained by Bob Baffert. All right, number four is Kiss Today Goodbye. Um, this one out of Cairo Prince, uh, Umberto Rispolio is riding him. Don't know too much about him. Uh, got a decent win percentage on him. Uh, he has won aboard this horse before, won his second race and made special weight. His last out didn't want anything to do with the track. A mile and 137 in that one, but he's 33 lengths off. Uh, wasn't interested. So they're bringing him back. We'll see what Kiss today could buy to do for this one, but I think it's going to be really long. Uh, number five, we got Honor AP. I'm sure to be the heavy favorite. Mike Smith riding this one. John Sheriff's training him. Uh, he's an Honor Code horse. So a decent breeding here. Um, last out, of course, that Santa Anita Derby. Mile and an eighth in that one. I uh, got the win, 148 and four um, over Authentic. Um, second in the San Felipe in that one. He lost to Authentic. Um, before that, he he broke his maiden, you know, to mile one thirty seven. So he hasn't put up too many impressive times, but he has gotten these two two um or the last good win there in that second place in the San Felipe. So he's already qualified for the Derby. He's trying to shore up his position, keep him in shape here. Um, but he doesn't really need this win. But we'll see what he can do. I think he's going to have his work cut out for him uh, with uh, Cezan, the six horse. Um, he's out of Curlin. Um, Bernardini on the other side of the tree, so strong breeding out of Cezanne. Uh, another Bob Baffert horse, Flavian Pat Pratt's riding him. He's got two races, broke his maiden first out, uh, six and a half furlongs, uh, and uh, last one out a mile and 135. A um, decent time on this horse. Um, Flavian Pratt, everybody knows I'm no fan of his. Uh, fake Derby winner in that one. He's going to be aboard Cezanne. Now, the weird thing about this race, I think there's not really going to be a front runner. I mean, there, there will be a front runner. There's no true front runner in this race. On paper, Honor AP would be the front runner. I don't know if he's really going to take the lead or not. Um, I, I, I'm based, thinking based on uh, Mike Smith and also based on um, Sheriffs. I think they're not really going to take the lead. I think he's, Mike Smith is going to go out there and run a good race. I think somebody else is probably going to go out there more likely... Um, uh, Rispolio, uh, maybe your Cedillo is going to go out there and get the lead. You got to remember, Bob Baffert's got two horses in this. Is four horses. Two of them are Baffert horses. He's definitely going to be running some kind of strategy out there to get the best position for his horse, which a lot of times includes blocking the other horse or trying to uh, create a rabbit and make the other horse run too fast. Something in, in, in a way to get in Mike Smith's nerves. I'm pretty sure that's what the plan is. I'm not sure how much that's of an effect that's going to have, but I've got Cezanne winning this one. Uh, I think the pace will probably be a little bit faster than it looks like on, on paper, but still decently fast. It's out there west. You know, they like to run that west coast offense. Uh, running your horse as fast as, as uh, possible, like your secretariat, regardless of the distance. So, um, just uh, joking around there. But anyway, I got Cezanne there uh, with the win. I think Honor P is going to put up a good race. I think he probably will run second, maybe even by a head, a neck. Maybe it'll be a photo. Um, I, I think Cezanne, a little bit better horse, a little bit better breeding, a little bit better speed he's shown in his previous races. Uh, now, Flavian Pratt's liable to mess things up, but I think he'll get this one done. I like Honor AP running second. I think Thousand Words will be in there running third, even though there will be, will be no show bet or a trifecta probably offered in this one. Anyway, 
I think Thousand Words is in their third. Um, Kiss Today, Good Today, Goodbye, I don't really think belongs in this race. But uh, I think that's a bit of an upset. I'm going with uh, Cezanne for the win in this one.